An ag resource market analyst says opportunities in agriculture are beginning to look up. We are not as bearish of agriculture as been over the last three or four years. Agricultural uh, opportunities seem to be bottoming them out. The, the, we, we believe the banker is uh, cutting back in some of his lending. But we do believe that this year's corn and soybean crop won't be as large as last year. Uh, we see the U.S. corn yield between 164, 166 bushels an acres, maybe soybeans 47, 47 and a half, and that will provide some levity. We also like the opportunity from China in beef. We think that the Chinese will be looking for beta agonist free beef sometime in early 2018, and that will provide an opportunity along with strong consumer demand, domestic demand, to get some uh, improving beef prices and cattle prices as we look forward to the first and second quarter of 2018. Bossy believes drought in the northern plains pushed cattle placements earlier. And that means lower prices in the near term will improve into next year. And that combination of seasonality and fewer supply should give us a run up to maybe $124, $128 uh, per uh, cent of weight. And then thereafter, we should start to see prices easing down. But we're going to bottom, we think, in the fourth quarter, somewhere between 100 to 104. So it is a nice run to the upside as we look forward to 2018. Other countries cutting back numbers and increased domestic and export demand will also bolster prices. Consumers are eating more beef in this country than we've seen in an awful long time. We have to go back to 2008. So uh, increasingly lower beef prices has caused the consumer to reach for supply, and we think that this is something that will continue. So uh, going forward, the strong domestic demand, better export interest, particularly from China, should give us that demand pull market as supplies tighten and we look forward. Bossy advises cattle feeders to look for breaks in the market to secure feedstuffs. We say that because as yields come down and farmers find out they don't have all of the crop they had in years prior, that they will be stronger stores of grain and we'll see more demand coming from China in terms of soybeans. So we think the next couple of weeks are key for the U.S. feedlot industry to get some stuff priced. Bossy also says it's not a strongly bullish market, but it's bullish nonetheless. I'm Bob Cervera.